ready? Yeah. What's your pack? This, 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 this. Wow. Oh, hey. Um, yeah, so uh, just before we get started, I wanted to, uh, to address something really quick. You, you, see, uh, you see that nice little, uh, nice little beauty mark right there? <laughs> no, no, I didn't get into a fight with a cat. Sam, baby Samuel, his fingernails are so sharp and he just loves to squeeze you whenever he's just like loving on you. And uh, yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> What are we doing today, Lily? Going off-roading or something? We're going off-roading or something? She's been begging. She, you haven't seen her in like months because like she decided to start school this year. And because she decided to, blah, blah, blah. Because she decided to start school this year, she hasn't been able to go on any trips. She's off for Thanksgiving. Break. And uh, Happy we don't, Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. We don't have time to camp tonight because we've got family and stuff coming in tomorrow. But we're gonna do a day trip because I have like a particular place very close by. Maybe it's not, well, it's pretty close. It's pretty much in our backyard that we wanna go see. Like it all. I like turkey. I actually don't like ham, I don't like but I like either. turkey. I like to have mashed potatoes and mixing some stuffing. I hate stuffing. I don't like all stuffing. Uh, most stuffing I don't like. I like to put in a little bit of the cranberry sauce, even though I used to hate it, but I like it now because that's just like a little bit of uh, pizzazz. Okay. Pecan pie, sweet potato casserole, mm, green bean casserole. Mm, I just prefer regular green beans. Me too. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, I really like potatoes. So today like is November and the sweet. 21st and tomorrow, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. That's my saying, man. Oh, what you I saying? always, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I don't say happy Thanksgiving unless it's like Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, so this is what we're doing. So there's this place that I've been hearing a lot about and it's like it's kind of like top of the world but it's up here in northern Utah in the high Uintas I've you know I've been looking at the high Uintas I don't know anything about it I've talked to a few people got a couple of trail ideas but this is the first thing that I've seen that I've been like I want to go there I want to check that out if it's open it won't be open for much longer because so I'm on I'm on the I'm on the Mirror Lake Highway. And by the way, if you want our routes, our tracks, our waypoints, everything, in fact, I need to start recording this now, uh, make sure you su uh, support us on Patreon. I have all of that stuff on there, and the reason why I have it on there, instead of just like broadcasting all of our route data and trip data and stuff out there, I have it behind a paywall. Specifically because that way it's not just broadly available to the public and it's not because I don't want you to find out about it It's because I don't want this information to just be freely available on the internet. It's a whole tread lightly thing um, You know, I mean there's a lot of controversy with sharing routes and tracks and waypoints But you know at the end of the day, I, I believe that we are better off working really hard to try and a, a dead animal that's what happens when you're out in the middle of the woods tread lightly leave it better than you found it be courteous be kind uh, and just treat the environment well and um, I, I think that that's I think if you do that I mean I think everybody should be able to see these remarkable places man is this really bright
see. What? Snow. Oh yeah. Snow. Everywhere. Wow. It's actually kind of thick. Wow, yeah. What? The ice on there is super thick. Come on. Don't be mad, but I might have stood on it. You might have spat on it? Stood on it. Oh. Whoa, are you okay? Oh, I broke my ankles. Yes, I'm okay. Whoa, that is ice. And it's like it's not thick right there. that hollow sound thing again. I gotta say, I haven't really ever uh, driven. How's that? Still getting used to the settings in this new camera. So I'm shooting, I'm shooting manual exposure all the time, and it's because um, this new camera shoots in Canon Log, which I don't know a whole lot about it, other than, other than the fact that I've shot with it, and it's the quality is great, um, and I've been really happy with it. So I've just been. Some exercise and practice or whatever. Anyway, never really driven in snow before, and I gotta say it was uh, it was pretty it was pretty intimidating the idea of it at first. But I gotta say it's 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 not it's not been so bad. Now I will say in full disclosure, it's not exactly like super deep. I'm sure that this could get a lot more difficult a lot quickly. I'm sure that this could get a lot more difficult quickly. Um, interestingly enough, in my car a minute ago, it said it was uh, 46 degrees, but it feels really cold right here. I'm sure it's because the cold snow air stuff is <sighs> coming up. <sighs> See, check this out. Huh? It's deeper than I thought. I thought I was gonna hit dirt real quick. Maybe it's deeper than I thought. Do, 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 do. Elmo's world. Elmo's world. What are you watching? Avatar. Well, we're not watching movies right now. Little like deer footprints or something. No, they're human footprints. You think so? So 
I guess you can kind of see the road, but it's not super clear. Is, is this, how's this look? The trail says I go this way. I went that way up that hill. That was fun. Sorry I didn't get that for you. Uh, I started to go this way. The map says to go this way. I kind of see tracks. Just doesn't look like anybody's uh, been over here in a while. And so, yeah, we're gonna, um, I'm trying, just trying to get this because it's so bright out. We're gonna go this way. See if we can find soap stone cliffs. I, I think that's what it's called. Dad, can you pause the camera? We're gonna help me find it. Find what? My ring, Miss Terry gave it to me. You, were, you, dropped, you lost a ring? I dropped it. Why'd you drop it? I don't know, it fell on my hands. It's down there somewhere? Yeah, I just can't find it. Alright. What's it look like? It's like a metal ring. And then it has like purple. Are you sure you dropped it right here? Yes, I dropped it out of the window. dropped it out of the window? Yeah, I just probably could use one. That's it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Dad, I dropped it again. We're going to leave it then. Look at this. Isn't this just absolutely incredible? Oh man, we're right here on like the cliff edge. Like right over there, you'd fall to your demise. Look at that. I'm not sure where everybody takes pictures from. Maybe over there, or maybe I'm not even in the right spot. I don't, I don't really even know. Maybe maybe right there is the, is the right spot. I, I, I don't know. Huh? Do you uh, do you think this is a good place to have lunch? Yeah, and we're not on this, not right here. Not right here? Not right where? We back up a little bit. You want to back up a little bit? Why? Because I really don't want to die today. We're not gonna die. We're not that close to the edge. Uh huh. Sure. Just a really. Did you see where we're gonna have lunch? Yeah. Right down here. I know, there's already footprints already. Oh, you already. I'm actually surprised that you even went down there. Yeah. You're like, I'm scared. <laughs> It's like orange on the cliff. Do you see the orange on the cliff? Yeah. I wonder what that's from. You think it's maybe some metal in there that's rusting? No, it's Cheetos. Huh? It's Cheetos. This has so far been the coolest place we've been in Utah. I disagree. I'm actually can't wait to come back here in the summertime. I have to find out if we can camp here, but this would be a great place to camp. In the summertime when the everything's all green and not dead. Probably shouldn't come with you. 
You wouldn't want to camp up here? No, I'll probably end up falling off the cliff. You know what? My phone will end up going off the cliff. I love my phone. Considering, well, we stopped and, and stuff, but it really took us about three hours, probably two hours from the house to get here. If you wanted to come up here and you weren't stopping like a million times like I do to film and take pictures and stuff, uh, it wouldn't take you very long from, you know, sort of the Park City, Heber Valley area. Wait, I'm going to flop. Can they even see you? Are you even in the frame? I'm not. What are you eating? Ice. Somewhere down there are some cars and they're little itty bitty tiny white drops, white dots. And yeah, so we're pretty high up there. been a pretty remarkable day this has been fun hopefully you have enjoyed this day as much as we have this up here is it's breathtaking make sure you're supporting us on patreon if you're not supporting us on patreon you won't have access to these files the waypoints the tracks the recorded tracks all the photos the data and stuff that we collect on these trips there's tons of great campsites that i always mark just along the way so if you're ever looking for inspiration or ideas or where to go this is a good resource for you. Really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for coming along with us. And uh, we're gonna go down the hill and take a couple of shots on the way down, um, just real quick, but but we kind of have to hurry up and get home because it's it's running pretty late. Yeah, 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 hang on. Uh, all right, let's, are you ready? Bye guys. I won't see you in a long time. We're not done. What'd you say? Bye guys, I won't see you for a long time. Why not? Because I have school. Oh yeah, that's right. You decided to go to public school. All right. Where are you going? Hey, up there. We're leaving. I'll leave in a second. I already took pictures of you up there. Really good ones. <laughs>